All right, welcome back to Factorio, and uh, I've just noticed that my call line is slowly sort of moving up towards the team engines, and I'm going to add some soon, so I'm just going to add two mines already, just in case, just in case. That's easy enough though, boom, done, oh, power, done. Okay, so I've got all my stuff made, all my assembling machines, so let's... Um, Let's stick them there. I'll probably need them quite a bit. We don't need these furnaces. Okay. So. We need quite a few of this. Why can I not make this? Because we don't have copper. Bit weird. Okay. Also, let's just... Uh, whoa, console. Nope. Don't want a console. Ouch. I can't pick all this up, I think. No, I can. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Now, I do sort of need to load balance this at some point, but it's fine for now. So now you see both iron is coming on, on, on these two lines and the copper on these two lines. Now, the science factory, we kind of want to make... Not over the oil. Maybe down here. See that. Now, as we talked about last episode, the science packs that red ones need, let's have a quick look again, copper plates and iron gear wheels. Okay. Okay. Too easy. So, first of all, we want the gear wheels. And we shall make them here, which means we need to uh, get some iron off the block. Again, give yourself space. Don't, don't think it has to be compact and stuff. If you really want to, and if you're very experienced at the game, absolutely go for it, but it's uh, more hassle than it's worth, to be honest. Alright, so there we go. Let me just pick up all this debris. Boom, there we go. That's iron, the iron for these gear wheels. Now, these assembling machines, you click on it, and then you just find the item in this list. So this is the gear wheels. Boom, done. Now, gear wheels need two iron plates and only take 0.5 seconds to create. So, we kind of want to have two fast inserters. And then what I like to do is... Oh, let's make another one. Let's, add, let's actually make a bunch. Make sure that continues. Now, this is something that Arumba is doing, and I, I kind of liked it, is you take off 25% of the iron production, and then you want to rebalance it with this one so this one just make sure that these two lines are sort of balanced it doesn't always perfectly work but it's it's kind of neat now this copper line it's continue under like that boom down beautiful okay so now this one is making gear wheels and it needs to output them oh, here like that which means that this will make iron gear wheels, it will put them on this belt and then these machines will use them. I generally get five, I have no idea if that's good or bad, uh, whatever. I'm not that far into the game that I would uh, complain about having to uh, really micromanage these. Okay, so that's our gear wheels. And uh, now we need copper as well for these. Let's see. Yes, copper. Huh. Okay, so we have two choices now. We can either put both copper and gear wheels on the same belt here. So one side will be copper and one side will be iron gear wheels. We can do that. Or we can make, you know, a line for each. Now, because I know that I'm only going to have five of these. I'm going to put it on the same belt just to save some real estate and there's no real downside to it. What we do need to know is these inserters always put stuff on the other side of the belt. So this will put the gears on this side of the belt. But that makes a bit of a pain to put copper on it. So I want to put the copper on this side. So I'm just going to turn this over like that. And then if we put another one like this, you can see that this one will feed to this side of the belt. And anything that comes from this side will stay on this side of the belt. Might be a bit confusing. It'll it'll be cleared up. Now, also, I need a bit more space. I was dumb. 
I was dumb. <sighs> Not smart. But it's a lot easier here because um because the couple go couple goes to the same side. Actually we can probably do that a bit nicer. You'll find yourself doing that a lot, just breaking stuff and just remaking it. Okay, so now you can see that the copper all goes to this side, and it'll stay on this side. And once once we power this little thing there, you'll see that the gear wheels come out on this side, and then they get dropped on that side. But you see the inserter puts it on the left side of the belt here, on the far side. That's why we need this little construct to push it down this lane. Perfect. Now, if we put a, uh, a normal inserter here, this inserter will pick up both sides of the belt, and it, it's very smart. So, if I said you need to produce signs, this inserter will know that you now need a gear wheel or you now need some um, copper. Eh, that's kind of annoying. Uh. So, what you want to do, I find, is put lights up first of all is look at how long this takes to make it takes um, five seconds to make a science pack okay it needs two products and a copper plate and a gear wheel uh, this inserter will take something every second I believe and because it only needs two items it takes two seconds to resupply this thing and five seconds to make so a normal inserter is fine cool uh, then Now there is a hotkey, or somehow to sort of sp like select one as a science pack and then click it onto all of these as well. I don't know how to do that. So, <laughs> someone in the comments, please let me know. I've been looking for it. I can't find it anywhere. Okay. Cool. So we know that the science pack makes every five seconds. So a normal inserter, slow inserter is fine. And we just uh hook it up and there we go we got red signs in this belt now later on we're also gonna have green signs and then blue signs and purple signs but uh, for now it'll just be this now what I'm gonna do is a little bit weird I guess but uh, hang on. again one off this is not normally how I make it but because I have this sort of dead area here I'm thinking I can make my science machines there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've got two, so that's ten total. That's probably overkill. I don't think I'll ever use them. But, uh, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's see. So, they can be in the corner if we need to, but the, the biggest thing will be we need two lines in the middle. One will have red and blue. And the other one, sorry, red and green, and one will have blue in on, on it. That's definitely not in the middle, but I don't think there is a middle. Nope. So in that case, we're going to err on this, on this side here. One, two, three, four, and five, and then another five here. Beautiful. Nice. Very nice. I like that a lot. And we all can already put these up. And the power. Yeah, that's ugly, but yeah. Power lines are annoying, but you know. Oh, look at that. So simple. We've only been three or four episodes in and we already have this and it's uh it's pretty cool. We haven't been attacked yet. Even though I can't even see when my pollution ends. It's just a bit scary. But uh, I'll wait till they attack me. I'll be happy till then. Okay, that's f four, five. I'll just make that already as well. Just so that we know we don't build anything there by accident. 
Ugh, that's why we need so much custom production because it takes so long to build these science machines and, and some of the other things that we'll, we're gonna need. Anyways, I hope this is sort of clear where uh, with the gear wheels where the gear wheels need only iron, iron plates. So the iron plates come in through the belts here. These two splitters, uh, inserters, take it off the belt, put it into the machine. Machine is done and this inserter takes it out, puts it on this belt. And at the moment it's not working because um, it works much faster than needed, but it's okay. Okay, come on science machines, you are killing me. I mean, this is way too much, 10, for now. Like, I could probably start with 4 and be quite happy with that. But I also like to just ignore my stuff. I make it and then I ignore it, just let it do its thing. Might as well set that up already. Oops. Okay. Nice. Ah, oh, it's done, finally. Okay, so we don't actually need this one and this one. Actually, we don't need these either. Yet. Alright, so all that should be working. Now let's have a look at some signs, shall we? Um, don't care about this as much yet. Don't care about that. Turrets are quite handy actually. So turrets will allow us to set up some base defenses. Because I think the downside of not having um, aliens next to you is that you don't know what kind of level they're at. And they increase level by, well, just being alive so time based and then also if you kill one of their nests they also uh, grow stronger okay so I'd like to get a tool belt which gives me an extra quick buy but it requires green signs we can't do that yet so let's go for maybe just bullet damage simple plain bullet damage cool up some lights here again completely overdoing it but whatever there we go yeah put it there that's pretty cool isn't it this bothers me wait why is there no light here why is there no light phew okay well the next step, well, we have two choices. Actually, no, we don't. We don't. We need to uh, increase our power. So, the sort of holy combination of power, or oh, only nine, is 14 boilers, or 13, but I just like 14. So, 10 more plus 1, so 11 more plus 3 we have. And 10 steam engines, which we have 2 plus 8. Perfect. Do we have any pipe? No. Oh, we can make some. Okay. Now, I have changed the way I've done this. In the past, I've just uh, put them in, in, in lines like this, but I kind of generally don't like that as much anymore, but maybe here I do because we have so much space. It's probably okay. Actually, no, no. No, I don't like this. It's messy. And I forgot we need a lot more inserters. Brum brum. Bit of a walk. That's alright. It just feels good when you have this much um, sort of automated and you can just walk over, you press F and you go yum 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 yum. Num 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 num. Now our iron production is way too low by the way. It's never going to sustain this. Well, it's going to sustain this, but it's not going to sustain anything else. Okay, so my new way of doing these um, boilers and stuff is putting the boilers on one side. So let's do it here. One, two, three, four, five, nine, 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 whatever. I made just enough boilers, so we're just going to go by that. 
Do I need power? Nah, I don't need power. <laughs> the boil is down. There you go. And then this pipe can go here instead. And just put some normal pipe down there. Plop, connect to the boilers. Very nice. Don't need you anymore. Don't need all this track anymore. And then we just have to make sure that all these are powered. Beautiful. There we go. Now they don't have any power yet. So that's fine. Put some uh, cable coming out. And go down under. Oops. Oops. And where do we want to start? Let's just put it there for now. Where do we want to put these engines that we have? We'll have 10 of them. I mean, we can put more boilers here and here and then up here as well. So maybe just right, uh, not there. Maybe just here. Yeah, one, two, three, We'll connect the pipe here and then with some normal pipe there we go uh, four five I'd like to put two here as well just to make it even it does mess with a wall a little bit doesn't it yeah maybe we just don't make it even who cares Actually, that doesn't fit another one, does it? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just can't. This game will make you paranoid about these things. Because it's not even that you don't have enough space it's just it just doesn't look good so you just want to fix it and I, I don't really know why that is I don't really have that in, in any other game like Minecraft or anything I don't care well yeah, it's not entirely true but I don't care as much let's put it that way okay so let's just um, these poles are kind of useless So it's about time to end the episode, but uh, we'll just stay on a little bit till we finish up. Nothing is power now. Everything is complaining. That's fine. Don't be such crybabies, will ya? Okay, so now we can get the other steam engine. Now we're just going to have to kick start it again, the boiler. That's fine. We just go like, hey, here's some coal. Have it. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't that the greatest side in the world? It makes me happy all over. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Ten steam engines. Now, that will produce power for a while. You can see we're currently consuming two megawatts and we're producing, you know, probably one gigawatt. 10 megawatts. No, 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 it's not 1 giga, sorry, no, no, no. 10 mega. Yeah, it's fine. Cool, we also want to make some radars. But we shall do that next episode. Thanks for watching, and I will see. Oh, stop, stop, no, 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 stop. I don't know. <laughs> okay, wait, we shall do this. Don't worry. This bugs me. I don't like these dark places. It's like they're hiding something. Okay. 
Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Uh, let me know what you think about the series. Do you like it? Do you want to see more? Um, yeah, I will see you next time. Boom.